Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. As always, all of today's stories will be time marked down below for all of you, but our first big story, I do want to debunk an iBuyPower rumor. Many of you guys have talked about this and rumors have surfaced in the past couple of days, and if you guys have not heard about this, people out there thinking the ex iBuyPower roster will actually go under the new name of Ghost Gaming and join that organization who kind of under the carpet and kind of quietly a few days ago actually dismissed almost their entire CSGO roster. So I'm going to debunk this rumor and tell all of you guys why I do not think the iBuyPower guys will join Ghost Gaming, besides the obvious reasons being money and notoriously Ghost Gaming, not a well known name out there. Besides that, I want you guys to know that we actually had about 10 days ago, 11 days ago, on July 21st, Ghost Gaming did partially disband pretty much wise. They actually got rid of four of their players, all of their members, but their opper Wardell. So this led to people thinking because a few days after this, we had the ex iBat Power players and other match fixers were actually unbanned by ESL. This led people to think that maybe Ghost Gaming had some inside information out there. They were clearing out their roster. To to have the four X I have power members, that being AZK, Swag, uh, Days, and, and of course being Steel, the last one there, to actually join that roster. So first off, the main point I have to say here is no one knew about this. If you guys watch clips of all the I have power players learning about this, even they didn't know they were going to be unbanned on that day. So it would be a pretty big risk for a CSGO team or any organization out there to let go of their roster in hopes of a coming announcement of X I have power members to actually be unbanned. Although we, it was likely we knew it was going to come eventually, we didn't know exactly when. So that, that theory out there that you guys thought, oh, they must have had inside information and they cleared out their roster because they knew it was going to happen sometime soon, that is probably not going to happen. On top of that, we also have Dazed who on his own live stream built out a list of teams and players that he would play with. He actually wrote out a list of three teams, Optic, Cloud9, and Liquid being your top North American teams. And he also listed out Oppers and other CSGO players that he would play with. And if they're not on that list, he would not play with them. And Wardell, the Opper for Ghost Gaming, the only remaining member, is not on that list. So I buy Power will not join Ghost Gaming. I'll show you guys that clip by Dazed right now as well, confirming that they are not going to join Ghost Gaming. Maybe Tempo Storm, maybe some other team who actually can afford them and have a future with them, but we'll see. It will not be Ghost Gaming, most likely. If they're not on that list and they're a North American player, then I probably wouldn't play with them. So when you type somebody and you see they're not here or here, then it's not an option. But I will give all of you who believed in that theory a bit of credit because it was a bit sketchy. They kept it under the rug. They never had their Twitter active about this. They have other esports teams out there, but their CSGO team was, you know, quite notorious because they were one of those lower ended teams that had a chance at ESL Pro League Season 6. Leading into my last point, my main overall point as to why I think they actually disbanded out of nowhere and let go of four players is simply because of money, not being able to afford these guys. And they have really no money coming in because they lost their relegation spot in Season 6 to B's Money Crew, and it was actually a Enigma 6 at the time, and that is now Team Rogue. So not going forward and being in ESL Season 6, that was a big portion of the money, and I think that's the main reason why they did disband. So they will not be, you know, hopefully, I don't think they're going to be buying out I by Power. That'd be an extensive amount of money for them. So to debunk that rumor, but on top of that, some not so news, even Summit says it himself, guys. Summit 1G says himself in the clip I'm about to show you, but there's kind of news to all of us out there who love watching Summit 1G come back to CSGO, at least on a semi-pro level. He does seem to have a spot on Team Mythic, the stream team, once again, and from my inside source it will be I think he actually announced it himself as well it potentially will be for anger on that stream team so will Summit 1G come back to CSGO it seems likely by the time next season and here's what he had to say about that so what was the news about you maybe heading back to a team oh no news just kind of I got a text that Mythic might have a spot open next season so they're just asking if I was curious about, or curious if I wanted to take it and for all of you who know about Gamer Z, the TV show, or the, actually the CSGO reality TV show that actually aired a couple months ago, and it went to a, it kind of had an anticlimactic reach because we had a lot of people out there who hyped up about it. E, my, my, e myself, I thought it was going to be one of the best shows out there. A CSGO reality TV show, it came down to a certain number of contestants, and by the end of it, the winning team were the only players who would be signed to a team known as Gamer Z. So it's kind of cool to see how that show goes afterwards. And afterwards, I want you guys to know this show is going to go to North America, South America, to other European countries out there and it was going to branch out and hopefully come back sometime soon and I still hope it does but production wise things need to change because as of right now we had Queenix one of the players who actually won he came out with an interview that interview will be down below but it's not in English for all of you and if you guys have any other questions please join my discord and my friend Falcon will answer all your questions but as of right now Queenix had some complaints because the team has been playing together as team gamers they have not won any major events out there unfortunately enough but these are all pretty young guys Limpone is actually JW's little brother he's still on that team as well 
although a few of the players are kind of somewhat inactive. They have played together at least four of the five members for quite some time now, and at least half the team has been paid. It seems Queenix came out in the interview and he said that half the team, at least three of the five members who were Swedish, have all been paid except for the last month, and then him himself and Ensa, the two players on the team, have not been paid for over two months now for a part of that roster. So Gamer Z, if you're watching this, please pay your players. I want to see the TV show come back or the reality TV show. It was great. To, it was a great time to watch and hopefully when it comes to North America or South America or Europe or other European countries besides besides just Danish countries, hopefully production value will get better and please gamers, if you see this, pay your god dang players. They earned it. And in huge news, now we have so many speculative roster changes going on right now. I could talk about those and I really want to. So first off, big shouts to all of you guys who've been using my CSGO swap affiliate link down below. That thanks for the, so much support on that. But even more so, I actually live streamed I want to start doing one to two live streams every single week, just a live stream Q&A, talking about speculation, rumor, roster changes, and also analyzing the market, any big skin price changes there. And there was an amazing turnout. We had over 140 viewers the entire time. We peaked at around 230 viewers. And thank you all for the donations and the great support through that. And on that, I actually talked about this. NIP officially released Freiburg yesterday, not just you know from the team, from his contract as well. We actually had this announced. He was benched a long time ago, but he's now no longer under contract. And he tweeted out this. In big news, he is going to go back to the competitive scene. And that is huge because there are so many teams out there right now, not only looking for a European team, but looking for a guy like Freiburg with so much experience. And he says he wants to keep on competing on the top level of CSGO. And with everything going on right now between Navi officially releasing Seized and Guardian and probably most likely picking up is going to be Angel and Electronic on their team. That was also confirmed, so I'll show you guys that post by Decay and Slingshot Esports. We've almost confirmed Navi's full lineup now to be it's going to be Flamey Simple alongside then the two new players, uh, Angel and Electronic and of course we'll still have Edward on the team as well so that's gonna be a huge change but between them we also have Mouse Sports, Optic, other teams out there, the X I by Power guys so many roster changes going on and now add to the mix we have Liquid Pimp out there, we have Freeze the former Heroic player and now we have Freiburg all of these players who are top tier players that could be signed so add Freiburg to the mix guys where will he go leave a comment down below what you guys think now on to our last story for today's episode and for that last story some big news that just came out just last night guys I want to talk about who is right beforehand I'm gonna avoid community questions questions today as well because I kid you guys not for the entire hour and a half live stream yesterday the entire chat was spamming where is Spoon? Where is Spoon? Hey where is Spoon? And so I'm going to avoid community questions for today but I'll try and find some other answers out there for all of you guys who submit questions down below. But I want to talk about for this important segment right here is who is right. We actually have a story posted by Decay a couple hours ago at the point of me recording this which did state Navi had confirmed or most likely we're going to have two new members in Angel from Hellraisers and that was going to be Electronic from Flipside to join for of course Seized and Guardian who have officially left that roster. Now as of right now we now have the flip side founder himself tweeting out this as a reply to some tweets out there and he says lol actually kind of you know brashing comments here because he also says their contracts are until 2019 still a year and a half more for these guys and uh, apparently Decay is just hearing rumors and hoping that it sticks. So as of right now who do you guys believe? Do you guys believe Decay and the fact that Electronic will go and join that new Navi roster or will he stay with Flipside Tactics? As of right now, I don't know who to believe. Obviously, one side of the story and one person here has to be wrong, but that was in some very interesting news. So those rumors are still rumors, guys. Not confirmed that Electronic and Angel will go to Navi. Angel probably more likely, but will Electronic go? I kind of hope he does. So, as always, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of CSGO News. If you guys did, please do me a favor, leave a comment down below. I've been trying to reply to about 200 to 300 comments every single video, so if you guys reply as fast as possible you have a higher chance of me replying to you because I go to the bottom and I do I go to the first comments first so hope you all enjoyed I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CSGO news and next week with some very interesting videos I'm actually going on vacation next week so please leave your video ideas down below so I know what to give you guys for video uploads well I can't upload because I'm going to be out in Colorado so I need to pre-record some videos so I will see you all tomorrow as always my name is Jake remember I like you turn down your headsets guys I'm about to do some yelling ah! goodbye